So my name is Kristen Ellis. I'm the Director of Strategic Initiatives at OpenTrons LabWorks. We're primarily based in Brooklyn, New York, but we also have our supply chain and production in Shenzhen, China. So we're already a multinational company. We have been since day one. A little bit about my background. Let's see. Um, okay. Well, I grew up in rural Alabama. Um, I was the first woman to, to graduate from college in my family. And so starting out, uh, I fell in love with science uh, the first time I saw the periodic table, basically at the age of 16. And then uh, from there, decided to study biochemistry. And from there, thought I was going to be a physician. Um, Turns out I didn't do that. I also did not go get a PhD um, because I realized that I don't really want to be a, an expert in anything. I'm more of a career generalist. And the thing that really gets me going is forging connections and looking at the context and connecting different people and resources with each other and really making sure that people have access to biotechnology. Because that was a big theme for me. Every new thing that I learned felt way later in the game than, than a lot of people because of where I came from. I was like, oh man, if only I'd had access to this information a little earlier, I'd been in a slightly different place. I would have been able to do so much more by now. And of course, this is me saying this, right? I'm in a very fortunate, very privileged position. So for me to feel that way, you know, and to think about the context in which we're operating in the world and how things have been locked in the ivory towers for so long and to now be in this information revolution where we're really able to disseminate through DIY biology, through synthetic biology, through building, democratizing and decentralizing technologies and platforms, really able to bring more voices into the conversation and actually drive the future of the planet. So that's kind of like, the thing that brings me here and the thing that keeps bringing me back to synthetic biology and the reason that I decided to work for OpenTrans. The technology stack idea uh, actually started with software, right? So if you've heard of, if you've heard of the LAMP stack, um, and Will wrote about this uh, in, in SynBioBeta, so he wrote an op-ed about this on the SynBioBeta website. But essentially, right, if you think about a technology stack, the stack is what sort of modularizes and abstracts things to the point where people can easily use them and develop applications on them. So the LAMP stack, for example, enables web developers to be able to write an interface at the top level without having to deal with all of the components underneath, right? And you think about it too as like the cell phone in your pocket, right? Like you have this very complex hardware technology, but if you want to write an app for an Android or an iPhone, you don't need to know everything about the phone. You just need to know that top layer of the stack. And so the Symbio stack is sort of, you can think about it in a similar way where from the bottom up, the layers are the biology and then the hardware and then the software and then finally that application layer. And the application layer is the big splashy stuff that we all talk about. So when Claire from Stella McCartney gets on stage and talks about creating garments out of biofabricated spider silk from bolt threads, right? That's at the application layer. So that's where we're talking about what we're designing, how we're going to deploy it. That's where all of the big uh, business development and product design ideas are happening. And that's the point at which we talk very high level about how we're going to create a circular bioeconomy versus an exponentially consumptive economy, right? And so everything underneath that can be thought of as enabling that application layer. So the biology, that's where you're doing all of the DNA assembly. That's where people are engineering enzymes, finding new ways to produce viruses and then at the next layer you have the hardware and that's the liquid handling and bioprocess automation. So that's where OpenTrons exists in the stack is really at this hardware layer and the thing that makes us unique is that we're open source such that anything in the software layer which is where you know you hear Synthase talk about uh, design of experiments or you know experiment management and uh, Riffin with their limb system and all of their process management right all of these different uh, software packages that can help uh, plan like bio computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing software right this is where you can add the software layer describe what's happening send the instructions to the hardware that then works with the biology to assemble the constructs and then eventually all of that comes together to feed all of the, the technological development that ends up going into the products in the application layer. 
this is always an interesting dynamic, right? So competition isn't bad, right? We like competition because competition sort of brings in, I don't know, I mean, I think the framing for competition and the way that we've seen it historically is that competition is what brings in the new ideas and brings in multiple stakeholders and has multiple people working on the same problem, but maybe from slightly different angles. And it sort of helps, you know, boost and accelerate the production because people are kind of competing and trying to outdo each other. And then in the, in the partnership model, right, you maybe think of it more as uh, collaborative. You think of trying to make more connections between different stakeholders such that you're not doing everything in a silo, but you're really placing everything in the appropriate context and thinking about it as it affects all of the other layers and all of the other things that are happening in the space. So, I mean, we come at this, at Opentrons, from a fundamentally collaborative standpoint, right? Our competition, if we have competition, is scientists that are continuing to pipette by hand, right? Um, so it's manual pipettes. But, but our competition is, you know, the old way of doing things that we want to replace with this novel or, or new way of doing things, right? And so in that sense, we don't necessarily think of ourselves as trying to compete with anyone in the sense that we don't want to put necessarily put anyone out of business. What we really want to frame it as, and framing it as a partnership I think is more optimistic, we want to frame it as partnering and enabling and boosting and holding up and creating a foundation for all of the cool things that can be built later. later. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think the partnership model is just also more optimistic. Um, it's not like, you know, in the current capitalist model, you kind of, it's like it requires competition because it requires exponential growth and it requires everything to constantly be going in this seamless upward trajectory and sort of hyperventilating on itself. But, you know, slowing down, making connections, bringing in new partnerships allows you to bring more stakeholders into the conversation. So that's how I think about it.